So this is a game that came out yesterday. Why is my Steam profile icon not loading? Um, it is a rhythm game. It is right up my alley, and when I load it up, you'll see exactly why. So let me get this up and running. There is no windowed mode, so I have to uh, I have to run this in full screen. Welcome to America. Everything is sugar almost. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize that Arnold Palmer, Arnold Palmer has 34 grams of sugar. No, sorry. 35 grams of sugar. Pecan. Okay, is it showing? Yes, it is showing. This is called Love Burb. Uh, this game came out... It came out on Steam yesterday. It is 100% free. So if you have a computer that can run this, knock yourself out. Um, it is a rhythm game. And it has burbs in it. Uh, I don't know how long this is. Uh, I'm gonna play it for like an hour tonight, and then um, and then uh, maybe come back to it. I played the tutorial to set it up. It is not easy. This game is rough, and I'm I may not come back to it if I don't if I'm not having fun. Um, am I recording? Did I remember to hit record? Yes, I am. Okay. Hey, Toxie, how you doing? Hey, Finch, are you home? Knock, knock. Oh, snap. Are you going to let me in? What if I said there was an entrance fee? Finch. Please, Russ, I'm not really in the mood. Don't make me pull out the emergency key. You're so persistent. So why are you here? See that short I posted you about war pigeons? I saw it, I didn't watch it yet. I was too... When you posted I was just too, like, out of it. To, to watch anything. I kind of just, like, like I've, I've ignored Discord almost entirely the last couple days. And work work has been annoying. Entrance fee, aka nails for breakfast. Trying to fix your sleep schedule. Thinking to draw more. I saw your stream today. It was good. It was fun. So why are you here? I came over to check on you. I know a breakup like that couldn't have been easy on you. But how else am I supposed to feel? They were supposed to be my happily ever after. Please. You could do so much better than that Wyatt Bradley. I don't know what to do, Russell. Would you let me help you? It's been six months, Finch. We only lived for four years. I want to see you happy again. Hoping around in your nest all day is a terrible way to spend your quarter-life crisis. And how do you plan on doing that exactly? Everyone I've chatted with has blocked me on every social media platform before I even knew I had accounts there. Yikes. I just don't get it. Spouse material, they told me. Then they told me I'm too good for him. Right before they left, they told me I wasn't the one after all. I called up one of our mutual friends to do a little snooping myself, and they told me why it was starting to find you a bit... A, a bit boring. Their words, not mine. I just wanted to let you down easy. Boring? They thought I was... Boring? Look, forget about that crusty bootlicker. We're going to find you someone new. Right here, right now. How? Here. Pull up your phone. So I had to go through the whole tutorial just to get the options menu, and uh, the options menu does not have a screen resize. I know I can't complain because this game is free, but please, if you're doing an update, put a screen resize option in there. There's a snazzy new app called Bumbird. Bobo, 90 years, human, human years, macaroni penguin. Test, test, one, two, three, is this thing on? I'm just a penguin. I don't know how to use a phone. Speech to text deactivated. Welcome to Bumbird. Exciting things ahead. Let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do. Oh, they seem nice. No, we don't like them. Why not? If you really want to see them again, you could check Bumbird again later. But for now, press left to swipe left and reject them. Alright, nice. I think this guy seems nicer. Russo, 25 human years, black build magpie. Look, I know I'm a hot smoking piece of white meat, but I'd like to keep this relationship as dry as Kentucky's fried chicken. Not what you're looking for? Too bad, cause same. Insult comedy, Greek mythology, near-death experiences. I like, uh, I like, I like their style of, uh, dress. Isn't that just you? Press left, right, to swipe right and go on a date. I can't swipe left. Ooh, hot. It's a match! Great, we matched. You did something right for once. 
Okay, now what? Talk to your date. Can you do that? Hold a simple conversation. Say a few nice words before we go on that special date. Um, you smell like bacon. I'll take it. Let's start with the basics. Even a toddler can do this. First off, I'll ask you a simple question. You have to choose the answer you want to say. This is an entirely keyboard. To choose a response, press the arrows in time with the rhythm. Easy enough. You can also hold space. Yeah, whatever, and okay. Yeah, whatever. Don't you whatever me. Ugh, moving on. If you see a feather, don't press a thing for that beat. A rest, if you will, which you've had much too, uh, mu too much of. Yeah, see, the early and... I, I like breasts. A rest, you dunce, not a breast. Again! I mean, same. They're just like me, for real. FR. Yeah, it's not easy. I'm gonna say that. It's, this is not an easy rhythm to keep up. True, but there's a catch. To find true love, communication is the key. Gotta say what you think your date would want to hear. Let's test out your bird watching skills. I like the way your body jiggles. See, I thought I was on beat there, but I wasn't. I really look up to Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh my god. Bert, you better be joking. I don't think any girl wants to hear that, or any bird wants to hear that. Excuse me, check yourself before you come for me. Try again. So there's like a right and a wrong answer for each question. I think the important thing is that you have to, you should look away from the, uh, from the thing. Your date's reaction will blah 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 something. When you see the space icon, be sure you're holding space as you press the arrow key, got it? Does that mean I could hold space anytime before? Makes sense to me. Yep, totally makes sense to me too. Moving on. What do you think of the weather today? I've already tried this baby making weather in the when I tried this before. It's cool and cozy like you. OMG, stop it. You're making me blush, you jerk. <coughs> I'm so glad I'm on this date with you. Do you want to go out again soon? Pay me first. That sounds like fun. Why are you coughing? Are you finally dying? Yeah, you're killing me here at Eve. Pay me first. With what, the 10,000 seeds you still owe me? Uh-oh, is my chat already frozen on mobile? Give me a second. That sounds like fun. Nice, see you. Date success. You're a natural at this. I think you're ready. You earned a heart. You get these when a date goes well. Fill up the hearts for the special prize. Oh. And he got had a sick burp right there. Hold on. Okay, now I think it's working. Oh, I just didn't have it moving. That's why. Okay. Yeah, chat on mobile doesn't always work right. Get the game back up here. Uh, da, 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 Actually, you know what? You know what'll make this a lot easier? How do I just pull this up? 
completely. Where's my channel? <laughs> I'll just mute it. No speckle here. Yeah, no. We got Russo, though. They're, they're just as good. So, how was it? It wasn't too bad. Right? I knew you could do it. Now that you know the basics, go out there and stop moping around. Life is all about second chances. Can't do anything here. App is still updating. Understandable. Hit the beater, hit the road. So here's the settings. There is a lower difficulty for than what's in here, but man, this is already pretty tight, this one. Note offset, I don't need to worry about that. Uh, audio. That's good. Shaking text effect, that's fine. We don't need to, we don't need to highlight correct answers either. Maybe later when I'm trying to, like, if I try to, like, 100% it or something. Time is 12.46 a.m. Hey, that's accurate! 69% of birds agree. Pigeons are flying rats. That's... no. Test... okay, this is the same guy from before. Anarchy, social justice, prune juice. Y you know what? I'm into the... I'm into the jilfs. The G Dilfs. Absolutely my type. Um, hello, it's nice to meet you, I think. I agree, it is very nice to meet me. I am the commander in chief of this year communications device, and I demand answers. I'm sorry, did your phone just type down whatever you just said? As the first and only recruit in my army, you would do well to refer to me as Bobo Zuckerberg Private. We must practice some sense of decorum, so you must give me your name in return. It's right there in my profile. My name is Evercrumby Finch. Good, 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 good one, I guess. My good gravy, did you just yell your name out loud? Are you mad? From now, I'm doing, I'm, I'm switching, whatever. You know, your code name is Echo Foxtrot. This is moving too fast. I think one of us is a bit confused about this whole thing. I hope it isn't me. What do you think it is, is Foxtrot? This bum bird is where young hip birds of a new generation gather to spread capitalist propaganda. I have trespassed in enemy territory and I found the first of many seeds of discontent in you. Spies, ready for battle. Ready to die a violent, gruesome death for my cause. I don't think this app is what you think it's for, Bobo. You dare challenge my pow powers of subterfuge? My brain is just as robust as the day I, f f I set fire in school from scavenging my seed bunker. Okay, let's um, relax there a bit. It's a bit too soon for me to worry about being turned into a chicken nugget. Challenge accepted. I'm coming over. I was doing that in a text-to-speech voice, but then when uh, it started getting a little too fast, I, I, I just gave up. My gods, you're so scrawny. No meat on your bones. I'm literally right in front of you, Bobo. You don't need to yell. I yell to make sure I am heard. The voice of communist justice will not be silenced again. I think I really like this dude. D did I just hear that correctly? The proletariat shall rise like above average bread. But first I must see, see about examining if you are fit to enter my ranks. Let the hazing commence. He and I are on the same page. Juice coward, the few wants of the few are the needs of the many. Two rests, up, down. One, two, up, left. Right, not down, right. As long as it helps the most people. Yes, but what are people? There is something suspicious in the air here. Must be the 5G cell phone. Yeah, I feel like I've been watching for a while now. Ah, oh, no, I just watch you sometimes. Routine espionage. Oh. You look weak. What is your exercise regimen? Probably should have said the 5G tower. Too lazy to even eat sometimes. Gorilla training I pulled off on the dark web. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Commendable! You must teach me! Hold on. Why am I seeing three of you? Reality's a lie. Haven't you heard of cloning? No, no, not the Clone Wars! Not again! I was just listening to Vinny talk about Clone Wars the other day in, in a thing. I thirst for justice. What do you have in your fridge that I may sip? Aged sewer juice. I got iced fish oil. 
Rest, rest, up, down. Omega-3! That was the name of my squadron! I just clipped something on my chair and I don't know what. I felt like something snapped. You surpassed my initial expectations, Foxtrot. I am very pleased. It's rare these days to find an insurrectionist as loyal to the cause as I. You remind me of when I was but a little penguin. Young, passionate, mildly stupid, but well-intentioned. Did you just call me stupid? Yes, yeah, since when is that an insult? You should be proud. A little stupid takes you places a coward would never go. Well, thank you, I think. This is definitely something I'll have to bring up with my therapist. And fortune favors the bold already. My military union has mental health benefits. Let me refer you to the best therapist in the continent. Oh, wow, really? Who? Me! Oh. Now, Foxtrot, I must go. Their capital is to be disemboweled and means of production to seize. Goodbye and contact me again should you wish to chase after Utopia with me. Yeah. Minigames, contacts, and collection. Hmm. Scott, 30.14159 human years. Woodpecker. Love. Love? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. I just want coffee. Roasted. I want to know what love is. Love me? My little beak is good the book. Philosophy on love, black coffee, big words. Oh no. This can't be happening. I'm not ready. How is anyone supposed to be ready? This is unprecedented. I'm going to faint. What? I haven't even said hello yet. What are you supposed to be ready for? A reply. Oh gosh, oh geez. I wasn't expecting anyone to match with me so fast. I still have my whole life ahead of me. Um, I think you need to slow down. When did you even make your account? Four months ago. I thought it would take at least ten years to find someone to like me. Aren't you a woodpecker? Do you even live that long? No! That's the point! Oh, it's so difficult to explain. Oh, it's even harder to pipe. My talons are numb. Alright, well, um, we're already here. Wanna go grab a coffee before you tear a nerve? Coffee? I love coffee! Wait, love? That's a good idea. Yes, brilliant thinking on your part. I know the perfect place. Press space to get the show started. The museum? Yes, it's the ultimate habitat. There's almost no one here, so it's, it's super quiet, and no one can stop me from screaming my heart out. Um, I don't know if you're allowed to scream in a museum. I, I don't have enough headspace to be thinking about all these silly rules. There's still so many questions in my head that need to be answered. Coffee friend, yeah. It's always so loud. So loud, so loud, so loud! My brain doesn't stop pestering me with all these thoughts. Just so you know, I'm not medically trained in, um, panic attacks. Oh, don't worry. I know how to give myself CPR. You know what? How do you even do that? Wait, where's my coffee tumbler? I need my quad shot espresso macchiato with Irish cream. Where did it go? I didn't see you bring it. I didn't see you bring it with you. Are you sure you had it? Oh no! Oh no! I must have. Ah! I must have left it at home. Oh, this can't be happening. How am I supposed to feel like a normal bird now? Why the anxiety? You don't have to feel unsafe around me. I've been around every kind of bird you could think of. You're hardly the most abnormal of the bunch. You said it. You called me an abomination. I can feel your soul judging me from beyond the material plane. That wasn't a. Uh, that was written P L A I N. Okay, I think it'd be good to get this date started before I have to worry about why you have a parole anklet on your foot. Look at him jitter. Which part of your body does love happen? My kidney stone, my head, my heart, okay. See, like, I want to go for the bad answers, but at the same time, I want to get a good score. I don't know, but I like thinking about it, too. 
Do you think couples of the same feather go to hell together? Want to find out? Hell is a social construct. But regardless, it has been constructed. I'm guessing if you just completely fuck it up, you don't- you just get a, a bad... I have a question. Do you know what love is? Baby, don't hurt me. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going back to prison. Oh, I said it in this thing and it was the wrong answer. So why are you looking for someone to date? I want to understand love. I need a replacement. No. Oh. My extended family have stolen my spare organs. My organs have been ravaged by coffee and vodka. I'm no good. Are you, um, seeing any other birds right now? No, you're the only one I need. Yes, is that okay with you? Oh, it's fine. Um, dating is all about trial and error, right? Oh. Yeah, if you if you, if you just miss, it's bad. And if you answer choose the wrong one, it's it's meh. Could have gone worse. So is it four hearts per person? Or per bird? Birdson? Oh, I could just try him again. This looks like a cute game. It is. It's free, too, on Steam. It's called Love Burb. The creator has a, uh, a Kofi if you want to donate money, but they, they actually... They, this game is entirely free. I don't know how complete it is. I don't know if it's, like, the full game, but from what I've been led to believe, this is, in fact, like, a full... full release game. There's nothing, like that at least is missing from it. I don't know if they're gonna add more, but... It is really cute. You could also just you could skip dialogue. So it's nice that they let you highlight the right answers, too, but, like, there's only two for each question, so I can't imagine you can't pass each of these after, like, two or three tries. The only annoying thing is holding space down, because you have to do it between notes. You can't do it a note before. Maybe. Oh, jeez, don't tempt me. The directions and rests are fine. So, why were you looking for someone to date? I want to understand love. One, two, three... Have you ever been in love before? Oh wait, is this a different question? I don't remember this. I don't know, but maybe I can be with you? Oh, tell me more! I want to study you like a book! Okay, so there are more questions than, than answers here. I have a question. Do you know what love is? It's not Baby Don't Hurt Me. No, I think. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. I have better things to, these things to do than study a chemical imbalance. You're very fortunate I am pr on parole and unharmed. So, uh, how do you like your coffee? Black is, is what he wants to hear. Strong enough for a heart attack. One. Two, got it. One. Oh, haha, my morning heart attacks are my favorite part of the day, too! 
love how bouncy it is. It is very bouncy. So I'm just going to say that you're really, really into love. How did you know? Wild guess. Well, you're right. It's my field of interest. The study of my life. I want to know all about it. That's why I was on Bumpered. I had to know more about it. There's still so many questions. You. What about love interests you so much? Everything. I want to understand what it feels like. I want to know how birds can find so much pleasure in it. I don't. I didn't want to bring it up so soon. What do you mean? Haven't you felt in love before? Wait. Wait a minute. What time is it? At five in the evening. Why? It's my curfew. I have to get back home before my parole officer checks on me. I'm not going back to prison. Oh, okay. Um, I enjoyed chatting with you, whoever you are, and I would love to dissect your brain further some the other day. Please let me do so. Just call me, okay? Bye bye. Um, bye. Yeah, the donation thing in chat is still popping up every 30 minutes. Uh, I, I will disable it, but at the same time, the Tiltify link is still up. So, if you are interested, by all means, uh, give to the Starlight Children's Foundation. In case you were apparently too busy wallowing in self-pity to notice, you've convinced some birds to give you another chance. I'm here to show you something new. Oh, let me guess, there's further dates with each of them. When did you get in my house? Bold of you to think I'm not here, Boo-Boo the Fool. Eh, what's up? You can now access the contact screen and go on second dates with anyone. Oh? Say hello to your soon-to-be exes. Wow. You can see all the people you've gone on dates with here. Oh, so I see. So there's four dates per per burb. Try clicking on my name first. Now press this button to get the show on the road. And you get to see the chat history, too. That's cool. Okay, now what? Didn't you learn from the past dates? Sweet talk me. Um, you smell like bacon. You said that last time. Fine, that'll do for now. I'm guessing it's gonna be way harder now. Yeah, look at this beat. The neat, neat idea for a game. Sometimes you can hold them for dear life. Just hold on the key until the end of the line. Easy, right? Piece of cake. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Beat ends when I say so. If you can't get the timing right, watch the rhythm circle. I let go too early. Wait, it, it's, it's like not ending on the second one. All right, let's try, let me try it again. What the hell? Is it, um, maybe I'm holding it too long. From some of the reviews I've seen, this game is not... This game remains difficult. I don't... Oh, okay, I was holding it too long. It doesn't give you a sound indication when you're too late. Yeah, you're on a roll, hun. If I were a color, what would I be? Pretty shade of purple. A mix of red and blue, maybe. Two, three, four. Nope, too late. I'm colorblind. I don't want to hear your excuses. The fact that there's no, like, beat indication when you're holding it down is kind of like, there's no sound. One, two, three, four. Okay, see, I gotta count. I can't do, it can't just let go. The prettiest shade of purple. Wow, how'd you know my favorite color? Any hobbies? Human watching is interesting. Nest building is therapeutic. Great, you're ready to go to the next level. Who's the most fascinating person you've ever met? Me. You. Hmm. 
Nor stop, unless... Alright, I think you're ready for more dates. Thanks for the help. You know it. You're very welcome. It's not too... Like, it's very simplistic, and it's not too bad once you get the hang of it, but, like, if you... Like... I feel like for those whole notes specifically, there, there should be, like, a little indicator when another beat goes by, sound-wise. Like a small clap, maybe. Like, clap, 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 or something like that. That'd be, like, the one suggestion I make there. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, actually, thanks for being there for me, you butt. No problem. Good luck with your other dates. You need that luck more than I do, believe me. Look, I know I'm hot. Okay, so it's the same. It's, it's the same chat history. Oh, look, one month ago, one week ago. Okay, so it goes through. Uh, it goes through different. Uh, how do I back out? There we go. Take a burb, any burb on the left. Avril, 52 human years. Yellow crested cockatoo. Cockatoos, uh, if if kept if if kept in captivity and very well in well health, they can live as long as as most, if not more humans. Most humans. Uh, they can live as long as most, if not longer than many humans. They can have like a they can have like a lifespan of like 80 to like 90 years. There's a, there's a cock there's I believe there's cockatoos that are, like, over 100 years old. Uh, Yellow Crested Cockatoo. Looking for an ambitious young bird to sponsor and spend time with. Notes. Household income must be at least 70 seeds per month. Minimal body work done. Human cash. Italian feather combs. Autographed electric guitars. I'm down for some human cash. All right, this is excellent. Another poor bird in need of my aid. I'm sorry, what did you mean by that? You read the job description, didn't you? I should need to explain these things to you. Let's skip the pleasantries and get straight to the point. Time is money, right? I'm um, all right. What exactly is the point here? I need details. Give me numbers. Age, sex, location. I need your goals in life. Tell me all about your upbringing. Why should I invest my hard-earned seeds on someone like you? Can you do all that in five minutes? Um, can we do go through my life story over some coffee first? No, no, I still need to know where your standards lie, bird. There, I've reserved us a table for two at this low-income restaurant in your area. Set your calendar for tonight and cancel all appointments for the rest of the day. Come in your best attire. I expect you to look like money. The reservation is under the name Avril Carrion. Wait, this is all happening so fast. Capitalism doesn't wait for the slow and poor. You should know that, considering you're terribly small and malnourished. I'm a house finch. This is my natural size. And you shouldn't have been born into poverty. Just stop being poor for now, and I'll see you tonight. Oh, okay, you could scroll up, too, if I'm... Alright, so I don't have to be in a rush to read things. Is that really all you're wearing? Nothing but the fleas on your back. I don't have any clothes. Birds don't even wear clothes. You seedless birds don't, anyway. A bird such as myself never goes anywhere without a statement piece. And what kind of statement are you trying to make, exactly? And I'm rich, obviously, but it's irrelevant in a place like this, I suppose. At least sitting at a table with you makes me look more expensive by comparison. Now, how would you like to be the richest little finch alive? He's the opposite of the penguin. My fingers are over ASDF, like I'm going to use them. What sorts of music do you listen to? I tend to be quite particular about this. Don't listen to music. Rock music. Math rock. What? Oh. Get a fresh start on the date. Yes, please. I have a garden that needs tending to. Okay. That's not bad. At least it's snappy. It's quick. It's good. Very good game design. 
booty, please. Yeah, I have my when I'm holding my fingers over the arrow keys, my other fingers are over ASDF, like I'm about to like walk around in FF14 or something. I want you to buy a new birdhouse. What's your ideal location? Somewhere in North America, because capitalism. One, two, rest, rest. I would be stupidly wealthy, but even I wouldn't spend a seed in the Americas. You know what? Fair. That's a fair answer. So what do you think of the food? I want a broke bird's opinion. Could stand a bit more seasoning. It tastes pretty good. Good, good. We feel the same way. So what does a broke bird like you do for a living? Two broke birds. I fill a profitable niche in the market. Nothing, I just volunteer sometimes. Vague, meaningless, but complex. I'm impressed. Ever, may I call you Mr. Ever? I prefer not to have honorific at all, honestly. That's on Honorable Archduke Reverend Oh, God. I feel like that's the wrong answer. It's the Honorable Archduke Reverend Dr. Evercrumby Finch Esquire to you. None of that title bullshit, please. Be serious. What are your ambitions in life? I want to find a romantic partner. I want to become powerful. Ooh, I almost missed the space there. I see a lot of myself in you, Ever. Probably not the right voice for this dude. Or bird. These birds all tend to be- all seem to be gender ambiguous. Non-binary. I feel like my soul has been stripped by the bare throngs of capitalism. Bare by the throngs of capitalism, excuse me. Excellent, you're already starting to get the vibe. A few more goes with this and you may just be the sugar baby I've been looking for. I've never been a sugar baby before, but it sounds like fun. Oh, it is ever. It is definitely is. Oh, oh, it is ever. It definitely is, especially if you're all mine. What? <laughs> You'll be all mine to spoil and corrupt as I see fit. You'll be my magnum opus. You ever could become the face of capitalism itself. Wouldn't that be grand? I'm not sure I want to be the face of capitalism. Give it a few more dates and we'll see if we can't change your mind. Now I've got an important business meeting to attend to. At midnight? Rule one ever. Ambition never sleeps. Nor do I, and neither should you. Now I've asked one of my interns to leave a month's supply of seeds at your door. Do with it as you like. I don't really care, just don't make me regret it. Oh, what? Really? Bye-bye uh, now. Date success, so I guess I don't need to perfect them. I just get a heart for passing the date. Well, let's, um... Lowering your standards. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Alright, how about this? We will, um... We will do the rest of the level ones, and then I'll see what time it is. Because I've only wanted to do this for an hour before moving to Theater Rhythm. But I might be willing to go a little longer on it, depending uh, on what happens once we finish all those. I've only been playing this for about 40 minutes, so I'm, I'll give this at least 22 more minutes. If not longer. Tay, one human year. Owl, not a swift. Hey, I, Taylor Swift, not a swift. Am, like a simple songbird seeking the perfect half, not another X. Likes makeup, country music, and watercolor paints. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, hi. Oh my god. Oh, aren't you? Ain't you a cute little thing? Nice to meet you. Where you been? Last time I see a cutie like you was when my papa made me a corn doll. An ear of corn? Yeah, it may not look like it, but you could say I'm a bona fide farm girl. Ha ha. We moved to the forest, though, because my pa wanted a fresh start after mom moved on to better things. Whatever that means. LOL. Like the burbs? Yeah, the burbs are really nice designed. They're really nicely designed. Okay, I'll need some time to debrief. <laughs> nah, boo, don't sweat the small stuff. You swept right on little old me, so you don't we get to know each other more? I know a place with the best lighting, because the city's like so grody and stuff. Major ew vibes. 
Alright, where to then? The woodlands, huh? You got that right, boo. Don't you think the fireflies just go so well with the sparkle in my eyes? Uh, yeah, wait, is that glitter in your eye? So you got a problem with the way I accessorize? How about you catch me outside? How about that? Oh my god. These outdated memes. Glitter is like so big now. Big sleigh. Slay? Yes, mama. Yas, mama. Now you're talking. I'm about to sick burp one second. Burp from being sick, not from being sick from the dialogue. The dialogue's fine. Actually, you know what? That burp I just made? I muted the mic so you didn't hear it. <laughs> I think that might have removed the... I think the knot in my stomach is gone. I wonder if that... that I wonder if I'm officially cured. I won't risk it, but it would be really nice if I could get a nice juicy burger in the next couple days. Smash Burger has a mac and cheese burger now, and I need it. I I the the second I know I can I can down a Smash Burger and and not get sick from it, it I'm going to order it. It it sounds so good, and I'm not gonna miss out on it like I did with the friggin' mozzarella burger at Wendy's. Where I waited one week too many and I couldn't get it. I was so angry. I was so angry. Nessie had gotten it like two days before I went down there. Then we went down and they were like, nope, we don't have it anymore. And I was just like, you've got to be, you've got to be fucking me. I was so upset. Because I had one bite of it and I thought it was like so good and I never got to try it again. But uh, I, I am absolutely not missing out on the mac and cheese smash burger. As soon as I can order smash burger, I'm getting that fucking thing. Mmm, burger, yeah. <laughs> I, I could... Look, look, if you came in late, I've been sick the last few days. I have not been able to eat, like, an entire meal since Sunday night. I, I, I ate almost nothing Monday except, like, two pieces of bread and some jelly. And then yesterday I had, like, a piece of chicken, and tonight I had chicken noodle soup. That's it. I'm, I'm so in the mood for, like, good food. But also I can't eat it because my mouth is currently, like... It's got, like, that sick taste in it. Which, uh, it turns out... That sick taste is, um, apparently what happens is when you get sick, your body puts out a protein that supports and controls inflammation in your body, and that protein, when it hits your taste buds, it kind of brings out the bitter flavor and everything, which is why stuff tastes bad when you're sick. This is a bad time to join the stream? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, oh also, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> No, I was just going on a rant. I'm fine. <laughs> you don't mind if I reapply my makeup real quick, do you? Oh, okay. We've got time. Of course we do. I'll let you know when I'm good to go, okay? Don't admire me too much while I'm waiting. While waiting, excuse me. Ugh, I look so fetch. So pedestrian. Wait, uh, did I change? I, I suddenly went back to the same voice I was doing. What's wrong with me? Southern. Alright, Cowbird, can you guess my Starduck's go-to? Black, skinny, oh, definitely the second one. I don't even have to read that. Rest. A skinny legend iced vanilla frappuccino with extra whipped- Wow, you totes got a sharp eye on you! Wait, and again I messed up the voice. Tell me something about you. What kind of music do you like? Country. That's gonna be the right answer. Country music is the Fury of Fault. Yep. Space, space. Country music is superior by default. OMG, you already know how to strum the right strings. So, lovebird, what are your favorite things in life? Every butte I ever get to meet, especially you. Country girl. Easy answers. Nope. Um, excuse me, am I just another butte to you? Never mind. Yeehaw, girl. I'm like so in the mood to rodeo right now. Let me go get my cowboy hat. I don't stand for animal violence. Sorry. <laughs> OMG. Yes, yes, let's go. 
hope you like my secret spot. I've made so many good memories here. Well, I suppose it's our secret now. Being here feels like a good memory. I feel like that's the kind of answer she'd want to hear. I'm probably wrong, though. Oh, no. Oh, gag me with the spoon, girl. We are out here vibing. That was almost perfect. That's the best I've done so far in one of these... Well, I'll be. You're like a natural at this lovey-dovey malarkey. Wouldn't have expected it from a city burb like you. What's your secret? Chocolate for my inner demons. Oh, work. Sounds deep and hot. Literally. Must be like a sauna in your soul or something. <laughs> Pretty much. So hot. Anyway, come then, boo. Let's, like, paint our nails to the salon. What? Again, the, the accent just left me. I'd love to see what those strong, lean wings can do. How do I check, uh, emote showcase? I really need more emotes. Oh, there's like a new button. Okay, I see. I see how this works. Okay. Reduce. And smallen. Give me one moment. Okay. So they add more? No, it's just those two. Okay, I'm, I mean... Honestly, I'd be fine with that. If it's just the... If it's just the ones we've already done in these two, and then we just do, like... Three more dates with each of them. I'd be... M that's... More than I'd expect out of a free game. That's amazing. That's actually an incredible amount of content. I'm definitely giving the devs uh, a little a little donation for this one. Mona and Melon, six 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 human months. Willow tits. We live in a sad, cruel world and love to wallow in self pity and swim in an abyss of bleak darkness and emo stuff. Cynicism, feather wax, dead flies. Hot. Is this a thruple? Are they like actually like not? Are they actually like a couple with that want to be with me? Want to be with another person? Oh, hey, it's nice to meet one of you. What? Who on your profile do I have the pleasure of talking to? Yes, what kind of question is that? I mean, which bird am I having a conversation with right now at this very moment? Both of us, isn't that obvious? There are two of us in the profile. We thought that was clear enough. Oh, I got a way of doing this. Oh, well, I, it's nice to meet you both, I think. It's, it's a, a meeting, meeting, yes. We are Mona and Melon. What, what do we, we say, say now? now? Uh, well, I'm not really sure to differentiate who's talking on the phone. Would you like to meet up somewhere? You want to meet, meet in real, real life? life? Oh, oh, dear, dear Melon. Fine, we, we, we suppose, suppose we can entertain, entertain you somehow. I'm going to bring the edibles. edibles. Awesome, where would you like to go? Yes, yes we, we will meet you there in five, five hours. hours. Wait, where? Was that working? When I was doing that, I was, uh... Actually, wait, I could probably... Oh, it did work. That did work. I, oh, I I enabled my uh, voice mod mic at the same time as my regular mic. There's actually a very slight delay. There's a very slight delay on the voice mod mic. Like it's it's like it's like milliseconds. It's like fractions of a millisecond. So the echo is like perfect to sound like there's two people talking at once. Or two people with the same voice. It's all. It also works for like. I want to do this. Want to put on the deep voice. Let me see if I can. One. Okay. The deep voice. And then I put this, this on, on two. two. And now, and it, now sounds it sounds like, like there's two of you talking with two different, different voices. voices. Oh, oh, very, very cool. cool. I think. I think. Yeah, that's not like as good as I thought it did. All right, the echoing voice, nice. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to keep that up while I'm doing this, but I can't believe the struggle you two put me through to find you. 
Oh, look, look Madeline. Madeline. Wait, do, do I not have the voice filter? Okay. Oh, look, Madeline, see? Oh, no, they're talking separately. <laughs> the bird on the phone did show up. This is unexpected, Mona. Much like the miseries of life itself. Yes, the sadness seems to be a present the future likes to torture us with. I agree. The sadness? We're about as large as chicken nuggets crumble. How large do you suppose our organs are? We do not live long lives, unfortunately. It's all terribly sad. Or terribly great. Would you like to join us in the celebration of our eventual demise? It sounds like a dandy old time. I don't have much longer in me either, so we might as well party like it's 1999. Excellent. Let the pre-funeral party begin. When was the last time you felt happy? I don't remember anymore. Being with you makes me... I don't remember. I don't remember anymore. Good. Neither do we. Don't you just love the rain? I think it's pretty. I don't like the floods. They remind me of my tears. Oh my god. Beauty is pain, after all, and we live to suffer. Would you prefer to be buried or cremated? Oh, that's a... Why not both? Okay, never mind. It's an easy one. Hardcore. That's an incredible idea. I mean, people get cremated and have their urn buried. Have you ever seen a dead bird before? I am inside, right? I've slept with one three or four. Not yet, but I can't imagine why I would want to. Oh, no. I've slept with one or three before. That's weird. Oh, how interesting. Now you've piqued our interest. We're not getting into necrophilia here, are we? How do you like your coffee? I don't do coffee. Raw real power is enough black like my soul, I guess. I think this went perfectly. Yeah! Good answer. Sugar's for the weak. You're still here. I figure you would have been scared off by now. It seems the shadows have not yet darkened their soul. What a lucky, lucky bird you are, Crumble. Lucky's one way to put it, I guess, but you can't be serious with all this emo got stuff, right? My chemical my chemical chromance broke up ages ago. We wear our hearts on our sleeve, and our hearts are tainted with sad woo-woo energies. Yes, much woo-woo. Would you like us to put up, make some makeup on you, Crumble? Consider this a one-time free trial. We order the goods straight from the saddest place on Earth, so it costs us a wing and a leg. Not ours, thankfully. Uh, no thanks. I prefer to keep myself in Technicolor. Also, where's the saddest place on Earth? I've never heard of anything so... depressing. Well, we've talked about it a lot and narrowed it down to two places. New York or the Philippines. Oh, I see. I don't know many Filipino birds, so I can't break your tie. I heard the birds over there eat monkeys, you know. It's quite hardcore. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Yes, yeah, so hardcore, Melon. Just like us, minus the monkeys. We just eat. Speak for yourself, Mona. I'm on a diet, remember? Feelings and water only. It's a trend with all those sad Twitters we see around. Hey, I'm still here, you two. We know. We're just trying to wait out the mushrooms in case you turn out to be a hallucination come to haunt us. Yeah, well, I'm still here, I think. Great, now you got me wondering if I exist. Can a ghost even think? Would you like to find out? No, thanks. Maybe some other time. Your loss. Is this where we're supposed to grieve for their loss, Mona? No. Let's wait until they lose a loved one or something. I think that's how it goes. Y'all... Well, if you feel you need a downer to turn that smile right side down, you know how to reach us. At the cost of what little of my soul remains, I'm assuming. You still have a soul? Wow. Must be nice. Melon, our souls are tainted with darkness, remember? Oh, right. We still have souls. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go. Talk to you too soon. We cannot stop you. We are prisoners to fate's cruel whimsy. I just noticed that whenever a line pops up, you could see, like, the end tag on the dialogue, like, script. Show up briefly before it goes away. 
Well, before we head back home, could I suggest a way to let me know who the cluck I'm talking to on the phone? Oh no, Mona. We're about to be enlightened. Brace yourself, Mona. Melon. Uh, Mona, Melon. Melon, Mona. Be brave. So there's no reward for doing it perfectly. Alright, we're almost at the one hour mark, but we got one more bird to do on the app, and then we'll see if something happens after that. Dorian, 43 human years. Magnificent frigate bird. Smooth and ready, very ready to mingle. Don't let the smooth feathers fool you, baby. One-on-one -on -one action. You're myself. Your kinky secrets. Ooh. Okay. Swipe left on that. Nope, we've only got one option here. We're going right. It's time to get kinky. Why is it the frigate bird that has to be kinky? Why the one with the inflatable pouch? Well, well, if it isn't the most good-looking chicken cutlet on the market. Let's get straight to the point, yes? Are you a leather and lace or white bread picket fence kind of bird? Which of those options involve less pain? Neither. I'm a bird built for pleasure, sweet cheeks, not pain. Couldn't you tell by these testicles? They make up 90% of your body, do they not? They're so darn plumped. Yeah, baby, the sack's got your name written all over it. Why don't we head out and see what the night's got planned for us down by the park? I'll even let you cop a feel if no one's watching. Oh, they take up 90% of your photo. How can I not? They're so darn plump. Chesticles. That's not what those are. Well, whatever. I've heard people use the phrase chesticles before to refer to their ripped abs. It's very silly. Hey there, Lollipop. You always look that good, or is tonight a special occasion? Yeah, the first compliment was so fast, so furious. Huh, and I doubt I'll be the last. Those frogs look like my frog car plush. If I was able to pull up stuff right now, I would. But right now, I just want to get to know you a bit better, alright, pal? Can't run through a, a train through a tunnel without any gas to pump it up. Okay, this game's clearly not for kids. Choo Choo Magoo over here. Yeah, between us, I think I'd better do all the talking. You're cuter that way. So you ready for this little guy? Look, I need to add a disclaimer. You better not be stolen for time, pal. I'm overflowing with juices, but even the best wines go bad someday. I'm a virgin, Dorian. And? You really thought that was a surprise? Sugar Pop, I could tell just by looking at your photos. You ain't exactly a master of subtlety or whatever. So, you don't mind? No way, I've been with birds of every age, every amount of experience. Doesn't matter if you don't think you've got your nuts on tight enough. I've got a big old tool here that'll screw you silly. <laughs> I wish Sour Cream was here. He would he would be getting a kick out of this right now. I just clenched. Alright, let's get down to business. What's your favorite music to set the mood? What was that? Mood. Death metal. Nothing better than smooth jazz. Okay. Oh, this one's fast. Voices in my head are enough to keep me on my toes. What? But I want you on your back or knees, not your toes. So now that you've seen me, what do you think? I fucked up there somehow. I don't know what I don't know what to think, handsome. Oh yeah? I've got even more surprises up my sleeve. He's a fears a fast one, smooth or chunky. I can be versatile. <laughs> Oh no! Wholesome bird dating game has gotten unwholesome. That's something I could get behind or into if you catch my drift. So, know how to dance. I know how to do the monster mash. <laughs> I mean, peacocks cry with my moves. No, but you could teach me. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, but I still got it. Maybe in a few more dates. I prefer to teach one-on-one. -on -one. How do you feel about leather? 
Shaves really badly. Like the way it sticks to my feathers. Mm. I hope you like playing dress up then. How was that for you? Was I as good as you'd hoped? Everything you could have wished for? It was less terrifying than I expected. You haven't seen Sour today, which is odd. He's usually about somewhere. He usually comes to my stream later in the evening. Like around 2 to 3 a.m. when I'm already about to wrap up. But, uh... I'm definitely gonna be telling him about this game. And making him watch the upload of this. Got even kinkier now, yeah. Come on, you know I wouldn't hurt a cute little buttercup like yourself. Like yourself. Not without your consent, of course. Just let me know when you're up for a round two, and I'll take you someplace even steamier. I can't wait. Oh. Finch is into it. No more matches. Fly away now. There's a collection of minigames. That's interesting. Can you replay dates? Play date? Haha. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I think once you pass it, that's it. You can't play the dates again. Alright, so how many there are? Seven? That's not bad. Seven, and you get four dates each. That's that's 28 dates. Assuming there isn't more after that. And apparently there's minigames, too. So, that's pretty cool. Again, this uh, this is absolutely 100% free on Steam right now. It's called Love Burb. L-O-V-E-B-I-R-B. -B, all one word. Um, I definitely enjoyed this a lot more than I initially thought playing the tutorial. Um, but... Yeah, it's, it's really good. I think I'm definitely going to be coming back to this and, and doing more of it uh, soon. Yeah, the hell with it. You know what? One more. We'll do one more date. Because, just because I'm actually really enjoying this. I want to get to... I want to do... I, I, I really want to do Theater Rhythm, but I, at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hooked on this. I want to do one more date. Let's go out with uh, Taylor Swift again. Not not the Taylor Swift, the A Taylor Swift. Hey girl, hey. Oh whoa. Hey there, sweet thing. You ready to dance in the moonlight again? I just finished moisturizing my legs and everything. They're so soft like butter. Bet you want to see yourself, huh? Totally. Yes. So like, you ready to hit the streets or what? For sure. Hell yeah, baby. Now you're speaking my language now. Ugh, I love it. You're like so on my level. It's insane. We're so in sync, it's like we're totally spies. Or something, haha. <laughs> yeah, I love it, love, love it! Alright, catch me by this nifty place down by the boulevard, boo. Sends location. If it's stank, you got the right place. <laughs> oh no, hope I don't pass out. <laughs> Bless your heart, you'll be fine, boo. Trust me, country girl's honor. Oh look, it's the place we dated the goths. Oh, wow, an amphitheater? How bougie. Isn't it, like, so totally majestic and stuff? Just think of being on that stage, in front of an adoring audience of fans, cheering for me, screaming my name. Oh, I could just think, think thinking about it, Crumsy. Oh, you a stage performer? Oh, how'd you guess? Oh, I reckon you're something like a mind reader. Maybe. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Tote's been there, done that. Trauma shrama, right? Haha. <laughs> What? Anyway, Leah, like, so I'm a singer, songwriter, guitarist, choreographic, singer. Anyway, like, yeah. Eh, eh. Anyway, like, yeah, so I'm a singer, songwriter, guitarist, choreographer, cinematographer, beauty guru, extravaganza. Long story short, I sing country, and the look wouldn't be right without a guitar, would it? Oh, a country singer. Gotcha. Yep, wow. You just get me, you know? You must be a legend back home. Why, thank you. I do believe I qualify as a skinny legend. I agree. Watch out, Mariah Canary. Taylor Swift's coming for your gig. They couldn't have made, like, a diff slightly different pun, so it didn't wasn't straight up her name. So, I hope you've been having a good time with me. 
course, I'm a spouse. Just thinking about you makes me happy. Oh, that's hot. I'm getting that in print. Still kind of hungry. You think you could cook me a quickie, gorgeous? Like, uh, like on the... T sure, I got my chemistry herbs and... Sp okay, Chef Crumby's got these old bread... See if sh Chef Crumby's got these old bread comes and gourmet fungus. Uh, that's like giving me major ew. Too harsh? Wrong answer. Got a joke for you. What's the therapist say when the owl walked in the room? You again, my number one customer. Did you forget how to fly? Space, down, left. Right. Other way around, right, left. Okay, uh, ooh, no, that was not good. I need to nail these last two. So, like, what's your star sign? Virgo, by the way. I'm a Capricorn, hi. I'm an Aquarius, dude. Capricorn, hi, hi. Wow, so in touch with your inner corn. Oh, that's why I had to say Capricorn. Because <laughs> she likes corn. So what kind of movies are you into? Rom-com. Social media feed. Rom-com chick flicks. Oh god, yes. I love keeping things shallow. We nailed it. Ugh, you are breathtaking, literally, like I cannot keep up with you, Crumzy. I'm glad you had fun. Well, ain't you a sweet talker? It's like you got one heck of a tongue and always know what to say to make me a chipper little singer. It takes a certain set of skills to please. Excuse me. Aw, oh, man. So, Taylor, I've enjoyed the bonding and flirting, but I was wondering if we could be something more. Oh, but we haven't gotten to the drag makeover challenge yet. Ugh, so not watermelon. Look, this is fun, but we've been doing the whole small talk thing for a while. I know it's only been our second date, but I was wondering if you'd be open to taking things... Hey, no, no, ma'am. You don't get to tell me when I have to speak and when I've got to say, okay? Bless your little itty-bitty heart, but I also get to say... You know when I... That's something just talked right there. Other than the music. You don't know what a queen bee's been through to get the crown. Beak Yonce would not approve. Taylor? Now, now, don't you go finishing that sentence. I've heard it a million times before, okay? Now, now, I ain't mad or anything, but I think we're done for today, hon. My head's a little throbbing like a... My little head is throbbing like a... Like my lactose intolerant Uncle Bobby after eating my mama's cream pie. Actually, gross. Never mind. I take it back. Hashtag so not fetch. Alright, sorry about this. Should I call you? You betcha, sweetheart. Just please. I'll open up on my own terms, alright? Bye for now, Crumzy. Let's talk next time. Again, that, that, like, kind of flamboyant voice and the southern voice, I kind of cross into them. I kind of cross them over too much. I don't know why. They're not the same. No bird is an island literary. What? That's the name of my, um... That's the name of my Animal Crossing island. I named my... I, I, because I thought it would be called Island in the game, so I named it No Bird is in. Like, No Bird is an Island. That's very weird that they would put that exact play on that quote. In, in this game's, uh, like, hot text, or flavor text. Alright. I... I I think I'm loving this game. I think I, I... I was a little if... Again, I was a little iffy on it when I was playing the tutorial to set it up before streaming it. And when I first started this, I was a little on the fence about where it was gonna go. But, uh... Charge your phone. I will when I'm done, when, I'm, when I don't need the chat up on it anymore. I was a little, you know, I was a little unsure where it would go, but I, I gotta, this is really good. This is really good, and I definitely want to play more of this. This game will be finished on stream. I will absolutely be playing more of this. Maybe Friday. I'm thinking right now that tomorrow will be, like, the, the full Metroid stream that I promised, and Friday will be this and more theater rhythm. Or maybe just this, because honestly, this is really good. Uh, but yeah, that's that's Love Burb. Again, L-O-V-E-B-I-R-B. -B. One word on Steam. It is absolutely free. Devs have a Kofi that you can donate to, or coffee, Kofi, however you pronounce it. Show them some love. Get the game. Give it a good rating. It's it's really good. It's really good, and I very much enjoyed it. It also gets horny. <laughs> <laughs>